quite a reduction, I think. So I, I bought a bit, but um, I've got big, strong French carry bags, so no problem with that. Right, we've got another red for you now. It's Underaga Carignan. It's from Maule and it's from the Wine Society. It's 11.50 a bottle, so you've got to give us a little leeway on that £10. Yeah. Um, and it's 2009 vintage. Yeah. Now it's called the, the TH Carignan. Oh yes, I forgot and that. And that's a uh, terroir hunter. And the idea is they've been out searching for these little plots of of the perfect land that um, with strongly defined characters. Now I think it's interesting, don't you, that the Chileans are using the word terroir? Yeah, but, it's, but terroir isn't, you know, it's not just a French term. We all think of it as French, but actually there's nothing special about France that other countries have. There's nothing magical about the word. There's no, there's no Paul Daniels in it. Oh, so Debbie, what attracted you to the millionaire Paul Daniels? <laughs> <laughs> You've got to love this moment, haven't you? Yeah, you have. <laughs> right, let's get on to the wine. Oh, delicious smell. A min minty again. Yeah. The same as the, um, the Cabernet. Um, um, you know, you get a lot of this, don't you, out of chilli? Mm. That minty mm. character. Quite fragrant. And yeah. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's lovely. Another dinner party wine. I wouldn't mind this on my table. Yeah. Uh, another heavy, tall, impressive bottle. Yeah. Um, 11.50 is not cheap, but it's yummy. And actually, it's the wine society, so it doesn't get reduced in price. No, but it's worth. It's yeah. worth the money. It is. It's, a, it's quite some wine. In fact, it's quite magical. It certainly is. And our last wine is a pudding wine. It's the Conchi Toro Late Harvest Sauvignon Blanc. I love this wine. It's the 2007 vintage. It's from Mole. It's widely available, majestic, a lot of independence, and everywine.co.uk. And it's five ninety nine for a half, so practically twelve pounds. Yeah, you can over budget. But you don't need a huge bottle because this is going to be your pudding wine. Yeah, sort of lemony honey smell, isn't it? It is. It is. So it's not going to be really for your kind of sticky toffee pudding or your chocolate mousse. No, not dark puddings. No, much more. Oh. It's lovely. It's. Clearly sweet, but it's not a heavy wine, is it? Refreshing Sauvignon yeah. fruit. There's a lovely vein running sort of through there. Yeah. Mm, absolute tradition. You're getting lots of that honey, lots of that citrus. Maybe a little bit of grapefruit on the yeah. palate. I can think. I'm thinking um, tartar citron. Mm. Yeah, definitely lemony dessert. Anything lemony. Yeah. So crepes with lemon and sugar. Oh yeah. <gasps> um, lemon posset. Mm. Or lemon syllabar. I love yeah. that word. Lemon mm -hmm. spoons. Yeah. Or, uh, or, 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 um, lemon curd ice cream. Oh, that is such a, make some lemon curd ice cream. It is delicious. Lemon in a treacle tart's really nice. When you've got lots of lemon rind when oh, you yeah. make it. Yeah. That's absolutely gorgeous. Actually, this would be great with treacle tart, wouldn't yeah. it? Because it, it has that clean sort of. Yeah. Zinius. And anything really with honey and lemon, though yeah. maybe not a throat lozenge. <laughs> well, this would pick you up, wouldn't it? It, it would, would be a meal. It would be a throat lozenge. No, know. absolutely. Love your back. No. Absolutely. Yum. Now, you could also, I think, put this with um, bread and butter pudding if you had candied peel in it. Oh, yes. Or, or if you spread bread with marmalade. Oh. Oh gosh, yeah, Sorry. absolutely. This really for us, it does provoke a bit of pudding porn. It is pudding porn, most definitely. Um, not that we need any encouragement at all no. to go for pudding porn. No, we don't. It's mm. delicious. It's well worth trying. Five ninety nine for a half bottle. It'd be stupid not to try it. See you next week. <laughs>